What's going on guys? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from our backyard today. And we have an exciting video for you. We're actually going to do a 100 hour service on our beautiful Yamaha F250 four stroke. This is our first time doing it. Frankly, Darcy doesn't know what she's doing with engines. Okay, that's fine. Yes. And I had some experience with my father back in the day, just like most folks, but uh, I've never worked or done anything on any of these outboards my entire life. Yeah, and so. it's also honestly kind of good to know your engine. So like we're gonna be learning and at the same time teaching you how to do it. And I think it's gonna be a success and a learning educational thing for all of us. Yes, exactly. Yes. This is a 2014 Yamaha four stroke 250. Okay, so pretty common. And you can also look in the manual. You can download the manual, Dar Sizzle. Yes, uh, I have the manual on my phone right now. Yeah, we're gonna put the link in the, down in the video so you can find it easy too. And they actually have a checklist Okay, so you just get the checklist and they even have instructions in the manual on how to do these things. So very simple. So here's what we're gonna do today. And it might be a little bit different on here because this is my particular engine, I know it. And, and last thing, Sizzle, yeah. we went to our, we didn't buy the kit off Amazon. You can buy a kit with all the oil and all the things you need off Amazon. Yes. But we went to our guy, our normal outboard maintenance guy and bought it from him directly. Yeah. So we're keeping in touch with our local businesses. Yes. We're supporting our local businesses. Ocean Outboards, thank you. Ocean Outboards in Boynton, of course. I'm just gonna go through this list because if some of you guys don't yell at me, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do right now because I know a lot of you guys are experts or are gonna try and be experts. Anodes, we're gonna change them. We're not doing the ones in the cylinder head. The guy said they always, they last forever. Uh, battery, we're gonna check the battery and the battery levels. The cowling is locked down. Engine starts, doesn't make any noise. It's perfectly fine, we use it all the time. Good to go. It idles and everything, great. Engine oil. We got it. That's that blue stuff. Pick it up and show it Can to them. Can I see it? Oh. No, you gotta, you gotta show it to them. All right, we're gonna change that. Engine oil. We're gonna change the oil filter still. Where's the oil filter? Oil so we're filter. Teaching. There you go, oil filter. And we bought this all from Out Ocean Outboards. Fuel filter. Fuel filter. <laughs> On the engine, engine one. Da, 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 da. This one. Nope, this little oh, one right here. This That's is the one, one on the engine, in. and okay, the water separator filter. We're gonna change that. Your boat should have a water separator filter. If it doesn't, install one. We'll make sure the fuel's not leaking anywhere, blah, blah, blah. Gear oil, that's the lower unit. We're gonna change that, that's very important. We blew that the other day, and you're gonna use this specialized tool to pump that in there, so you're gonna buy one of those. We got that at West Marine today, okay? Impeller, we're not gonna do the impeller today. Uh oh um, It's a 100 hour service, it says here to just inspect it. At the 300 hour service, we're gonna redo that. This is a brand new lower unit, by the way. Power trim and tilt unit, we're gonna make sure that's greased up. Propeller, we're gonna take the propeller off and grease the thing and make sure there's no line on the propeller. Very important, so you don't burn out your hubs. Spark plugs, we're not gonna do with those today. Ignition, we'll check that. Water, for, make sure, it, the thermostats, that we are gonna do that today. Uh, we're not doing the timing belt. We're not doing the valves, of course. That's 500 hour service. And uh, we'll make sure the cooling water comes in and out, no problem. Wire harnesses are connected, blah, blah, blah. That's really it. So, I like to start with the hard stuff first. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna get the oil coming out with the pump, yep. and then we're gonna work on the thermostats. thermostats. Let's go. All right, Sizzle, All right. you ready? I think so. All right, now we're gonna use this pump. Yes. Because why? Because this is gonna extract the old oil out yes. into the pump. But also, why don't you use the drain plug? Apparently this thing has a drain plug somewhere. It's much harder to use the drain plug and get it back in right than it is the pump. Everyone recommends the pump, even the manual says, He's Just pump. pump, yeah. So let's show us how we're gonna do it, Sizzle. How are we gonna do it? What are we gonna do? Where's the dipstick, that yellow thing? Yep, Where I see the it? dipstick. Point. Right here. There we go, pull it out. Sorry. Keep pulling, take it all the way out. Good, okay. put it over on the table. Okay. Nice bikini, I'll back up. <laughs> all right, use your pump. The okay. suction pump, vacuum pump. Okay. Make sure there's no crap on that line. Mm -hmm. Stick it in the hole. That's what she said. Shoot your eye out. Stick that it thing. in the hole. That's what she said. Oh my god. How far down? <laughs> Till it hits the bottom. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right. There pump it up. Use the vacuum. And now I'm just gonna pump. You're gonna pump. No, right. no, just make sure that thing stays in the bottom. Don't drag it around too much. All right. So you Give guys be able to see it. Oh yeah, there you go. That there you go, you ah. see it? That thing's like twenty Stop, years old. Right? No, no. Keep going? Keep pumping? Yeah, make it keep going. It's nice and easy though. If it gets hard, stop. That's cool. There you go. Really cool. <laughs> All right, now it's good. Yeah, it's getting hard. All right, good. So leave it. That's gonna take some time to drain. It's gonna take a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right, let's go Sweet. to the thermostats. All right. Port side. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good job. Now we learned it's on the port side because I already screwed up on the right side. So you 
You're going to take off this thing. I already took it off already. It's very easy. Very okay. easy. It's like two bolts. No big deal. Yep. Maybe pudding is going to get more involved here. Sounds right, good. Here we go. We're going to take this off. This is some sort of timing thing, Majiggy. How does this work? Feel the float straight down. Oh, okay. See this? You press this and this comes down. You press this right here. Got it. Okay. So you push this out of the way. We'll put that yep. out of the way. Okay. We push got the other wires out of the way. All right, you can see these two little bolts in here. I'm using this, like this is a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Everything on here is 10 millimeter. Well, most of this, a lot of stuff that I've been doing. Ugh, all right. All right, of course, you know, the trick is not to drop the thing, the nuts into the bottom here. So you can also use a magnet to get those out better. When you get them loosened up, pull them out with a magnet. That's what pro would do. I don't have a magnet, so I'm just doing this. All right, I got another one. You can see it's, a little, it's very tight in here. But there's the thermostat yep. behind there. Got to move this stuff over a little bit or try to. Thermostat. Thank you, the sizzle. All right. So the sizzle, see this, this, this I was just able to push over. Just I mean, don't screw up the wires or anything, but I was able to push it over to the side. And the thermostat here. That one just pulls out? Well, if you don't, if you it just pull, this one just came out real easy. Now you see the old one? Wow. And here's a new one. Wow. This actually doesn't look too, this actually doesn't look too bad to me. No? I'm not too familiar, but I, you know, there's not a lot to be of... need replaced. I don't know. Better the safe than sorry. So this is a new one. This is an old one, all right? So I'm just going to pop that right back in there. See the hole? See yeah. It? All right. Now here we go. Watch. All right. There you go. Got my thermostat back in. Good job. All right. Now it's got to work. Now it's got to put these bolts back in. All right, Sizzle. So this side... Hold it back. Go back. A little, a little bit hard. You got to take off this gas line right here. Okay. You got to take off this clip, and I already got it kind of loose already. But all you do, you can do, this, you can move this clip by hand so you don't break it. Right. Oh, but you see, you see it. Basically, you can press your finger down on this side, or like use a screwdriver and just pull these two prongs up, and it should. Oh, there you go. It should come right up. Cool. You take this off. Remember again, you press right here. It comes right down. See right here. You shouldn't have to force anything. Don't force. That's what my dad always used to say. You're forcing something and you're doing it wrong. Just gotta wiggle it a little. Now there's gonna be some gas pour out of there, maybe. Or not. Not too much. All right, see? So this, see how this is? It's a little clamp. Just don't lose it. Put that over there, over here, anywhere. Oh, it's pretty much out of the way. All right, now we got, move this wire. Now you can see those two bolts in there. One, two, same as the other side, okay? So I'm gonna take those out and replace that thermostat too. There you go, that's the hard part. All right, guys, that's the difference on the other two. On the other side, really no big deal. The starboard side is a little bit harder to put that thing in. You gotta play with this clip a little bit, but you'll, you'll get it done. Now, Darcy, we got all this strained out. Darcy has the thing on the thing, and she's pulling the oil filter out. Try and get that, grab, grab the thing with your hand and pull it out as fast as you can, Sizzle, once um, you get out there. We got, can I twist it with my hand now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's even better. Okay. And try and tilt it up if you can. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. And then just do the best you can. There you go. That was pretty good. Nice. Woohoo! I didn't spill a little bit. Not much. Good, though. good. All right, so you can see it goes right in there. There's the rags down there. Nice. Nice job. All right. Now I got. Now I can start twisting it back on. Yeah. No, hold on. First, we're gonna check it. No. Well, there's nothing to check, but. Check the oil. Now, I just want to mention, every single bolt you put back in this boat, in this engine, we'll put a little grease on, okay? A little, just the same grease we use for our um, trailer, for the hubs, okay? So, marine grease. Marine, <laughs> marine grease, right. So, just like my daddy told me, we're going to put a little oil on here and on the, and on the, uh, on the, um. New one. Yeah, on the new one and around the. Uh, seal. The seal, yeah. Here you go, sizzle. All right, just put your finger on there a little bit. This one? Yep. Get your finger nice That's, and dirty. What is in this? It's fine. Isn't this gas? It's oil. Oh, no, it's oil. Oil. There you go. Put it around the edge, nice and even. Okay. Now some, some on the threads too. Stick your finger in there. Not there really, you go. I'm not really getting much. That's okay. Oil. Stick your finger in there and <laughs> over there then. Don't go too, you don't gotta go too crazy. Now I can start spinning it back on. Spin it back on. Okay. Hands are all slimy now. Yeah, this is that's what working on engines is. This is much better if you give small hands, you know, because my hands are immense. Look how big. 
Yeah. It's like, I can never get in there. No. <laughs> so you're admitting that I have big Even hands? Even doing the thermostats, I was like, I should be doing that. Yeah. My so I have big hands, right? smaller. Yes, you do. Are they huge? Are they huge? Do you have a saw? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes, they are. All right. You got a hand tight? Yeah. All right. That's pretty hand tight. Now I'll tighten it. Nice. Now hold on. Now I tighten it clockwise. Now look, listen. Cut counter. Listen, with oil filters and water separator filters, put down in the comments, guys, how tight you like it. Some people just want to do hand tight with themselves. Some people just do. What am I doing? A, you just put it, put it on with all your might with your hand, which is not a lot because it's a little girl, with little hands. Ew. <laughs> and then maybe just give it a little twist with your tool, not a lot. Okay, you don't want to get anything stuck on there. It's going to seal up with the pressure. It's going to be fine. The guys in the comments are going to tell you they just do it with their hand tight, all right? You're just going to do it with that thing a smidgen. Minimum. Minimal. Minimum. Like, maybe not even do it. Like, put comments. Tell us what you guys do in the comments. All right, the, the little tool I bought doesn't, doesn't turn both ways, so I'm just going to do it by hand myself just to double check it. Yeah, I think <laughs> it feels like it's on there good. Pretty good. All right, guys. It's getting a little late. We're going to finish this tomorrow, but we're going to dump a, a gallon in here. I think it takes about six quarts so we're just gonna put a gallon here overnight and then check it and play with it tomorrow see you in the morning all right welcome back it's four o'clock the next day hot as heck we gotta get this done yeah i'm only gonna do this in the winter from now on yep <laughs> <laughs> all right we're getting right to the gear oil one of the most important things you do and that is changing the gear oil in this lower unit let's go okay my job mm -hmm. good day for a land shark all right, so there is a screw inside here. We found the hex key fitting for this. And so basically that's connecting both pieces on either side. So I'm just going to take the screw out. And okay, this... it's called the hex bolt. Hex bolt, sorry. There you go. No problem. There you go. There's one side. Yep. There's the other side. Yep, now let's come over to the other side. That's the important side. Okay. Okay, what do you got over here? Over here, we've got two bolts. A little this, screw. This, this, this screw and that screw, correct? Yes, let me, let me focus on this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so you guys can see that screw right there. So we're going to take that out. Nice. Okay. Good. Save that. Why are you wiping on there? You got to wipe on a towel. This is our right. All right, got to take this off. Now, of course, we put this down first. It's Turn gonna it. It's going to start spinning, right? It's going to start out. water out. Yeah, it's going to start coming out. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Success. Woohoo! I did it. <laughs> And uh, let's talk about the zincs, Sizzle. There's okay. two zincs. The anodes. There's one over there. Right. right so we're going to place that one. It's only it's just bolts, okay? I'm not going to... Very easy. I'm not going to show you guys how to do bolts, all right? And the other one is under here. You can see ours is messed up or old. So we got to replace that. So to replace that, you take off this, this right here. Okay, and there's a, there's a hex, eight millimeter hex way down there. I don't have the tool to get way down there. It's like a foot. It's like an inch. It's like a foot extension. And uh, so I'm just going to go to Harbor Freight and get that long hex. Okay, so we're not going to do that today, but my boat's on a trail. I can do it any time. Okay, but so you guys need a long hex. Yours might be a bolt. I don't know what horsepower you have or whatever. So uh, we can get working on that while that drains. When you go to put your new anode on, just make sure you got to put that ground wire back through your bolt. This one came out of the bottom. Yep. And so. You want to look at this and just make sure there's not, I think this is a magnet, so you want to make sure there's like not a lot of metal shavings on here and stuff. Yeah. I've already cleaned it off, but but there really wasn't anything on there. It looks pretty good. Yeah, so, well, it looks good now. Again, I cleaned it off. Yeah. Already, but when I, originally it didn't have much on there, okay? Okay. So we're going to, you can see that little washer on there. Yeah. Okay, you're going to change those two washers. We got them right here. So put new washers on those two screws. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now I got the gear lube. And what we're gonna do here, now this comes with a certain specific end. I got this at West Marine. This is like an eight millimeter or whatever Yamaha size is. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pump it. We're gonna screw this into that hole over there. This hole. Yep. And then you're gonna pump it in, attach that to there and pump it in. Now when it starts coming out here off the top, that means it's full. Okay. So it's kind of a reverse. It's, you used to, usually you put stuff down. Yeah. This time we're gonna pump it up. Woo! Oh, it's a different color. Yeah. Why, why is it so different than that color? That's used. Wow. Big difference. Yeah, color. that's why I gotta do this a lot. That's crazy. That's like not good compared to this. No. Now it see, it's out. starting to come out there. Keep running it out. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, that's clean oil. Okay. All right, not too tight. You okay. don't want a stripper to f it up. Yeah, like the water filter. Well, no, a little tighter than that, but it is a screw. But don't go crazy. 
All right, good. All right. Woohoo! Now. Now we're gonna take that out and jam this in there. Okay. All right, you're good. You're good. It wasn't pouring out or anything. No. All right, good. Good job. All right, nice job, Dust Sizzle. We did it. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this on-engine gas filter. So I'm told to take these two out, take those bracket off, and because you have to twist this, and so it's very hard to twist without these bolts out, is what I'm told. You got this turns, okay? And then you want to unplug this blue wire. I don't know if you can see it over there, but there's a wire over here. Okay, you're going to unplug this, okay? Because this attaches to the bottom here. And if you twist it, you're just going to twist this up. And we don't want that. We don't want that, of course. So let's see if I can get this off. What? All right, guys. I actually couldn't get this off. I had to use this. I just put these on here for like a millisecond and got it turning. You see how that electric wire turns in the bottom? You don't want that to happen. You know, otherwise you gotta, you know, gotta unplug it. Otherwise it'll just twist up. All right. Nice. Guess, Big difference. Yeah, there's the new one. Oh, let's not put it on it. Gas. Yeah, see? There you go. Wow. Yeah, so we'll put this one right in there. Fits in pretty good, nice. We're just gonna do it hand tight. There we go. And again, we're just gonna thread this wire back where it was. That's good, I'm just gonna put it all back together. No big deal. Good job. All right, so is you ready to take off the propeller? Yeah. All right, come over here. I've already taken out the what cotter pin. This? And this is, see, what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this like this, mm -hmm. and you don't hold this. You don't. No, you gotta put this, you put this board in here. Hold it like that. <gasps> to stop it. Yes, now turn the wheel. There you go, it's gonna stop like that. All right, give it a pull. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, it's on there good. There you go. Good job. Yep. Just take the propeller off. It's one of the, if you can't do this, you can't do nothing. Yeah, we spun the hub on our prop like six weeks, months ago. We had to put a new one on. Yes. And now we got it back. All right, the, so there's gonna be some washers on here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, they're stuck together, so that's good. All right. Just nice. Keep... It's all greased up. I can see it. That's good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You see any fishing line? Anyone look a fishing line? This is where we catch. Yeah. No that looks pretty good. Under here, any? Mm -hmm. No, we're right. All right, get some grease. We'll put it on here. Okay. Where am I putting it? Just on the sh on the shaft. More the merrier. All right. It's close enough. Good. It's pretty greased up already because it's pretty new. Can't hurt. No, right? it can't hurt. No, do a good job. All right, guys, I'm just gonna put this back on, not that eventful, and we're almost done. Forgot to mention, we're gonna we're gonna use a new cotter pin, okay? The old, you know, the cotter pins, you bend them and bend them back, they just get weak, so you're gonna put a new one in every time. Okay. All right, guys, another minor thing to do is the grease fittings around your power trim. There's like four of them. Look in here, Sizzle. There's one here, and then I gotta put the engine down, and there's another one right on the side. So, one thing I have learned is to get a good grease gun. Um, one thing I have not learned is how to not get all greasy doing this. So I'm gonna do this, uh, no big deal. Just make a mess in the process. Just make a mess in the process. <laughs> well, there it goes, it's coming out the back. Where? Right here. It's already coming out? Yep, see it? Yeah, good, all right. All right, guys, one of the last thing is we're changing our water separator filter. You're gonna use one of these tools, very simple. I don't know where yours is. Mine is way under here, I can never film it, so don't forget to do this. <sighs> oh, right, I think a little break so hot. All right, so we got it pretty much all done. Uh, we just gotta check the oil and then start it up to make sure nothing falls apart or make sure it runs. So, right. show them how we check the oil sizzle. Yeah, well, the engine's kind of turned in a weird way right now. Yes, but, um, very good. The engine. Dipstick? Dips. <laughs> the dipstick. You check that, and you can see that there's two lines here. And on the manual, it says you should have your oil in between these two dots you can see on the dipstick. Yeah. And it's just a little high right now. But. We got started up, so we fill up the oil filter, correct? Yes, so ho hopefully it's gonna go down a little bit when I start it up and check the oil filter, and then yeah. we'll recheck it. Right. So uh, let's go. All right, so you want me to hop on the boat? Hop on the boat. Start it up? Yes. Okay, water on? Yes, oh, another thing is, you st you're not supposed to use the flusher to start the engine, we have the en to run the engine, okay? You wanna put on um, earmuffs, okay? Oh. So it gets more water. All right, go start it. Okay. Be ready to turn it off in case. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> Start it up. Here we go. I didn't do nothing. I'll stay 
here. Woohoo! We did it! Nice. We did it. Only took us two days. <laughs> All right, guys, we're all done. Very successful. Just a couple yes. things. Um, you know, we started up and it wasn't peeing. So then, like I do on my Mercury, I put tape over this intake down there because it wasn't, because there's a bunch of intakes on the lower unit. Mm -hmm. And then it started peeing. So that was uh, a great little hot tip for you. Now, I try to just stick to the tips instead of doing the stuff you can do anytime. And um, whew, this is the best thing to do with beer. <laughs> and then, of course, we didn't do the impeller because um, this is a, a I had to make an I had to get an extended lower unit um, instead of a one piece because they didn't have my size when I bought it a year ago. So it's like a two piece thing. It's a little pain in the butt. It's only 100 uh. hours, and so so they're gonna do that next time, or we're gonna do it next time. Yeah. Um, that's really something you should do almost every time. But you gotta drop the whole thing, and we didn't do it. So not this time. And that's it. Yeah. So go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you guys thought we how we did on this. All you mechanics out there, I know there's a lot of you guys that are experts. Everybody. Everybody is an expert, so go ahead and drop your comments down below. But it was exciting, and we saved ourselves a bunch of money. So there yeah. you go, and we learned along the way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. Noish. This is my favorite video. We didn't, the boat didn't break down. Didn't spend a lot of money. We didn't have gas, to leave the house. And I actually made money and saved money. That's like the first time ever in 900 videos we made, guys. <laughs> Couldn't lose on this one. <laughs>